Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Yes, welcome to this edition of What a Horse. My name is Jerry Williams, and here I got my co-host here, Mr. Lane Levert, Mr. Horse Training himself. Hey, Jerry. How are you, sir? Uh, Thank y'all for having me. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, Together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now, I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Welcome back to Water Horse. Like I say, I had Mr. Lane Levitt here. Um, he's a big time horse trainer, coat man, probably a lot of your world grand champion coats out there. Started over at the Lane Levitt Stables over there. We got some um, announcements we gonna do here. I'm gonna let Mr. Lane do that. Well, Camp Smile of Mile, February 17th, which is this Saturday, they're having their uh, annual Alabama auxiliary lunch mm -hmm. to raise money for Camp Smile of Mile. Looks like they've raised over half a million dollars for yeah. them over the last few years. You know, uh, uh, they gonna auction some stud fees. Uh, They'll have all kinds of silent auction. They'll have food. It, it'll be a big deal. It's a it's a good thing, and you know they can call David Latham or Gerald Campbell, one of them, for information on it. Yes, that's um that's a good thing that they do over there. They camp smile mile. They do a lot for this industry. Them, and, you them know, Alabama folks feed you good. Oh too. yeah, they do. They got a lot of food that they do. I mean, they they <laughs> does a real good job on that. But Lane, tell us some more about your coats that you got, bud. That you we got. You know, we got uh, about 35 uh, two-year-olds for this year. And mm -hmm. Got some fall coats coming in. We're getting started on. Got some good stuff by all bunch of different horses, you know, about everything. 
there's a looking at us there in the cross tie. We've added some new cross ties in the barn, kind of remodeled our place a little. Uh, that's a good deal. That looked real neat there. Yeah, you ain't been over to check it out yet. I haven't yet, been over there you? since you remodeled your barn there. You can tell a big time horse trainer to do all the remodeling no, and stuff like that. You tell a man that's making, <laughs> trying to make a living. I understand. See, huh? my, see my barn uh, mascot there in the hallway. <laughs> yep. But as long as Lane ain't a big time horse trainer, now Lane do some coon hunting too. Yeah, I'm a better coon hunter than I am horse trainer. Uh, he, you know, he do a lot of coon hunting and, and stuff like that. And he's a and done a lot of blue ribbon winning in the show ring and done a lot of winning in the, in the hunting business. Yeah, we have good luck, better luck hunting than we do, but we, uh, you know, a lot of our stuff goes on to other people, trainers, and we don't show a lot. Uh, show, you know, when we have to, trying to get a coat sold or something that we hadn't sold yet, but, uh, you know, we're real proud of our, our coats that make it to the ring. A lot of world champions, world grand champions. It's. Uh, that's we've been deal. we've been blessed in our business, I tell you. That's a good deal, but now you know, but you know you have been on both sides of the fence. I mean, you used to show a lot at one yeah, time and yeah. and everything, and done real well in the show ring and winning, and now you know you went to to doing the coats and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, you know, I've started doing. Co I've been doing coats now for twenty five years. We we've done our share of showing back before and worked for people showing. Yeah. And, I don't know, it just seemed like for me we found our niche starting coach, you know, it just seemed that's... Well, that's the most important part. It's, it's been, I don't know, I like starting the coat from day one and watching yeah. go up and, you know, I'd, I'd just soon sell a coat as I had eaten. Lord knows everybody I love uh -oh. that. <laughs> I understand that. We, uh, we, we enjoy what we do. I like being, uh, you know, there's a lot of horses that go on to be great horses make the yes. show ring and, and a lot of times just being that little part of their story yeah mm -hmm. you know just like justified honors we didn't start him we got him uh you know as he was coming to a three-year-old yeah and, and just having that just that little piece that of little being piece, part I, of that story I, I understand it means exactly. a lot too yeah it means it means a lot and stuff like that but i mean it's just a thing of of starting a lot of people just like kindergarten when you start a kid off in That's kindergarten right. and all that up and then he goes up to be sometime a big you know um lawyer or whatever but yep. you can say you you taught him you, you give him the right start yeah but i think we got a picture of um, a frank eichler here that we're going to start we're going to talk about and that frank i'm going to tell you frank does a lot for this industry he does a lot. I mean, a lot of people should, if you see him, you should call him or walk up and shake his hand and thank him for a lot of stuff that he does. Jerry, I was asked a question. And I'm on, and, and the question was, if you had to say, how do you feel about Frank Eichner? I'm gonna tell you my answer to that. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how I feel about Frank Eichner. Yeah. Because there's not enough words to describe what he's done because let me tell you what Frank Eichler has done. He has been a big part of this industry yes. that has allowed me to succeed and make the living I, I do because without Frank Eichler, without Steve Smith, mm -hmm. we don't have a business. You're exactly right. Frank mm -hmm. Eichler is a great American. He's a great man. He fights very hard for this industry. And what a lot of people don't realize is everywhere we turn in this industry, somebody say, can we get this donation? Can we get this donation? Can we do this? Can we raise money for this till we hound people yes. to death? Frank Eichler reaches in his own pocket and does it. That's right. You are exactly Without right. Without Frank Eichler, we, we don't have what we and, have today. And I tell you, us trainers that make this, that do this for a living should really appreciate the things that he does because he the one that allows us to put food on our table for our family and everything. The, I mean, and that's, you know, he does a lot of legal work, you know, and he, you know, he spend his time and that's money come out of his pocket that he's doing, he helping us with, you know. Friendship award given to Frank Eichler is no way enough. Thank you for what we owe him. Well, him owe you are exactly right, especially as a horse trainers. You know, as owners, yeah, you know, they gonna make their living regardless. But us horse trainers, that's, that's the way we make our living. The difference is the owners, they got their living. You know, a lot of them. If if this business shut down today, yeah, they go to they go to the lake. They go get their boat. 
when it's all said and done, we've been great friends with you, Jerry. Have a good day. That's right. Frank Eichler cares about you. you yeah, that's he right. He cares about me. Mm -hmm. He cares about this horse. That's right. You're exactly right. And his wife shows and does real well in this horse business, you know. I just think a lot of people just should take time just to call him and thank him and tell him, you know, that you really appreciate it. And sometimes a phone call, I help a person, you know. Gives you, a, gives you a lot. Of, sometimes just a small piece of gratitude. That's goes right. A long way. Goes a long ways. You are exactly right on that. But you know, they, they're talking, and I hadn't completely read the thing yet, this big script that he's wrote out on the, picking out things on the government yeah. and stuff. Frank Eichler is going to call it out. And somewhere down the line, these crooks are going to back up off this industry. Yeah, that's right. And when it's all said and done, we're going to have a few men to thank. And he's number one. He's number one. That's right. Frank, thank you. I say thank you, too, because you helped me. You helped my family. You helped me be able to survive and do the things I be able to, I'm able to do. It's because of you. And, I mean, a lot of other people should take that initiative to do that and, you know, and really thank him and everything else. Um, but what else you um you got some good coats that you got coming up? Yeah, we do. We got some. I think they got some. We got some video with some of these things here. Uh huh. Oh, uh, we've got a lot of good coats. This is a Justified Honors filly out of World Champion Mary Godiva, which is by Titleist. And uh, man, we are proud of this girl right here. I I think this is a one of the best young fillies that just. You know, you can't tell much leading around there, but we see her every day. But uh, she's good moving, Philly. She yes, got the right motion to it. Got the long range, and if she'll live up like her mom and part of her mom and daddy, she'll be something special. Oh yeah. Now, Lane, on these coasts like this, and I know everybody got their niche. I got my thing that I kind of look for when they're leading, and everybody that foot coast got their own little thing. I mean, is there a certain type of way that you like for one to move for you that you think? Yeah. That you. You know, when I walk in to look at that coat. When I go, to, if I come to your place to buy a coat, yeah. first thing I'm gonna look at is when I look at that coat, does he have something to catch my? Has he got the it factor? Has he got yes. wow? You know, is he is he necked up? Is he mounted up? I worry about how he moves more when I throw that saddle on him. Yes. But when I look at him, I gotta go, man, I like that dude. Yes. You know, I I look at that neck, his presence. Oh, uh, and then you know when you're leading him around like this, you don't see him overstride and, and all that, and all that's fine. Now, this is a Justified Honors coat out of a Ritz mare that was out of Angelique, which goes back to I Am Jose. Jose yes. him. And uh -huh. this, this coat right here was raised by Bob Rollins. Okay. And everybody knows his stock, what he yeah. produces. But uh, all these Justifieds, are, they're real mounted up. They they got, got the look. You know, they're put together good so far. You know, everyone I've seen really mounts up. But this is a stud coat we really like right here. That coat moves real good. You know, it's just like I was telling you, to me, when I go and watch one running out in the field and I see him stop and he stop and he slide on his butt and slide down, to me, I know he feel like he can shift his weight. Yeah. And that's and I like to see one doing that. When he I, just I like that. Field. And I also like when you cluck to that sucker, does he suck it up under yeah, when, he, jump, when he moves, moves, when he takes off? Yeah. You know? I mean. But, yeah, we really like this coat. Like I say, you have done very well in this horse business with them coats and started a bunch of good ones and everything, and they went on. And, you know, that's the biggest thing. When you can start them and then you can sell them to somebody else and they can go on and finish yes, them sir. and make world champions out of them, that means the starter done uh, his job. One thing that makes you proud in, as a coat man is to see when you sell a horse. You know, year before last, we had 43 different coats that yes. showed as two-year-olds and three-year-olds at celebration. Mm -hmm. So for people to be able to go on with your with your product, it, yes. mean, it means a lot for your business. You know, you don't want to have the people say, well, we can't follow him. You can't you follow him. Yeah, that's right. You want to say, man, I, I can help him. They're easy him. to I'm follow. Gonna, you know, I'm going to buy one from over there because, he can, you know, he's easy to follow. He trained them right. He got them broken in the mouth and everything else. I mean, you does a, I just seen a lot of coats that you just started have went on and made real top horses, you know, and that's the biggest thing about it. Well, thank you. We're, you we're proud of what we do. Like you got some real good help there. It's, yeah, Mr. Darius Ransom. Yeah. Darius, sir, been with me about it. He's been with me right at a year now. Uh huh. That boy had barely ever been on a horse when he started. Now he's, he's, a, he's a good, he's a good jockey, rides good. 
Well, the biggest thing right there, when he get older and you see him going on train horses of his own, mm. and you can figure it, like you started them coach, you started him. That's right. That's you right. know, it helps him out a lot and all that. But, I mean, I just, you know, now you got some coats that you're going to do that you're going to that we're going to ride. Yeah, now. we're going to look at some videos of some here uh -huh. we rode last week for Mr. Jerry and him while they was over. And okay. Him and Bob Roach, they was there both filming that day, and we had a, had a really good day, good time. That'll work. Well, we're gonna we'll be right back after these messages. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back to this edition of What a Horse. And like I say, my co-host is Mr. Lane Levered, horse trainer, coon hunter, all champions that come in this one man right here. <laughs> I think we got some some coats that we're gonna have that we're gonna ride. Yes, sir. This right here is a three-year-old honors horse that kind of got behind was uh, as a two-year-old, and we got him in. This is a right nice kind of horse right here. He's really just now getting it together this winter. See my man, Sedaris so Henry. There been helping me some yeah. riding a little for us today. I always got a right way of going yeah, right this, there. Yeah, this is a good horse right here. He's the makings of a real horse. Yeah, sits up in the brow real well. And you say he's by what you by say? Honest, by honest? Out okay. of, um, well, Jerry slipping. Oh, I understand. You get so many of them, it kind of. This horse's name is Revelry. Okay. He's uh, by honors out of a uh, Jose Mayor. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a nice kind of horse. That horse got, you know, you know, and I guess you could tell more about this because you started, you know, some of these coats take a little longer to get started than the other. You got some of them start quick and some of them take a little. You, you know, uh, during COVID, uh -huh. when, when we didn't get to show, people wouldn't have stern. Yeah. We learned a lot that year about these coats and stuff that you can take your time and at the end of the day. Yeah. At the end, at the end of it, you're still as far along as you was when you hurry. That's, yeah. When you yeah. hurry and you got to back up, and these coats take taking their time with them yeah. now more than we ever have, and letting them get broke and finished and strong, and and uh, that that goes a long way oh, with yeah. these coats. And we've learned learned that we used to always be in a hurry. We got to get them get these two year olds ready, you know. Uh, you know, nowadays we let them get there when they when they say they're ready. You're exactly right on that. And you know, and that's why you'll see a lot of these horses, you'll see something pop up as a 
in his three year old year or four year old year, you ain't never heard nothing of, but it just took a little longer to get him together like yep. he needed to be. You know, all of them ain't gonna start quick. That's right. But that coat there, he's, he's that's, taking the that's right him. step. Yeah. And you have somebody come along that want to buy him or, oh, or something yeah. like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, now, I sold this coat for uh, six figures okay. when, when he was a two-year-old. Mm-hmm. And then he had a he had a few problems and kind of got a, a behind a little yeah. bit. Now, this is a I Am Jose coat right here. He is out of a no-fear mare uh -huh. raised by Jerry Stevens. Okay. This coach's uh, name is Sinatra. He's out of the same mare as world champion mare. I'm Lady Wolf. Yeah. Uh, Casey won the two and three year old mare class with, and uh, uh, I'm William Wolf, horse uh -huh. that brought a lot of money that Brian Barnhill, you know, had up yeah. there bought from uh, Casey and Michael. One thing I, gonna, I can always say about the horses that you have, all of them sits up in the brow. All of them got, you know, sits up in the brow real well. Well, that's, that's them, it ain't us. We buy them, buy them made that way, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. If they can't, if they ain't got that long neck and don't raise their head up when they're going across that lot, I pretty yeah. much leave them alone. This is a good, good coat right here. Yeah. Like you got a good place to ride and yeah, go with them and stuff good. like that, yeah. We're looking forward to carrying these coats to the barn parties here in the next, over the next two or three weeks, and visiting with people. You got a good place to do it at right there. What it's on? a little little muddy, and we made these videos a little muddy, so they slip in the slide yeah. a little bit here. Now, what jockey you have right there on there? Man, what you mean? That's I, just want, I, just, I know, but I just want to see you. Well, know. I, can still, hey, I can still lay with one pretty good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lane, you a, you always been a good horseman, man. I have to say, you have well, been. Thank you. you. You done real well in this horse business and everything. Made a big name for yourself. This uh, this horse business has been really good to us. I love what we do. Yeah. I, I, I get up every morning, and I can't wait to get to the barn. Oh, I understand exactly what you mean. I understand. All right, this is an honors coat out of a Skywatch mare. He uh, belongs to Mr. Jimbo Connor up there. Uh -huh. This is uh, this a right nice kind of coat right here. He's he's really coming along. I coat that guy got moving. And everybody out there, just remember now, if you got one that you want to sell or you want to start or whatever, you get a hold of Mr. Lane Leverage right here. He can show hook you up. You call him. Stuff. We'll We'll show ride your stock, that's yeah. for sure. You know. Jimbo, he has a bunch of nice horses. He does. Yeah. He yeah, does. I, really, yeah. really good guy right there. He is. You know, for a man to have his own training boy, but he still put horses out with different people, you know, that yes. says a lot for a person. He you does. Know? He really does. Uh, I mean, that's. You know, he's got he's got some good horse trainers yeah, up there that work for him. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, some good coat men, but he'll keep one with me about all the time. Keeps one with about all us yeah, coat men uh -huh. about all the time. That's a, that's a good deal. But, I mean, that's the way to do it, you know. And once y'all can get them going, and then they ready to go up into that show ring that he can bring back to his barn, they can go on from mm -hmm. there with it, you know. Because that's the biggest thing. When, you, when you're trying to train show horses, it's hard to start a coat. It is. It's, it's really hard as, as late as show season goes now. Yes. You know, you start showing now from... End of March yeah. till Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah, you're right. Well, you know, when you start them coating and shows start on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you're going to ride your coat, what, on Tuesday? Mm -hmm. You can't make them that you way. You can't make them that you so exactly right. it's hard to do both with these guys showing nowadays. That's why we have the business yeah. that we have, because that's why they're showing we're working coats. Yeah. You know, and I'd recommend that to anybody. If you got coats, you might as well take them to a coat store let them start them. And then by the time they get them set, ready to go in that, you know, show ring, then you can just take them on over and go on with them. Well, you know, you can you can send coach to guys like us. Uh, you know, you got me, you got Jalen Foster, you got Jeremy, you got uh, Eric Yokely and us, you know, and, and keep them coach till they get on that third foot. You yes. kind of see what kind of product you got. And then, you know, 
you make your decisions on how you want to go with them. Now this uh, coat belongs to Justin Harney. This is by El Zaro Star. Okay. I have a Titleist mare. That horse, that like he's getting some pretty good coats. He is. He's zero star. We uh, we we've got two or three by that horse that we really really like. Uh huh. These um uh, these coats nowadays are a lot easier now to start than it was twenty years ago. These boys talk about nowadays. These, Oh, this coat's rough for this and drink, man. They don't see. Oh yeah, no you, you're you right. You don't see you're like right. it no, when uh -huh. we was kids. No, I tell you, these these coats take a different step now. Yes, and it, we got a different horse. Yeah. Mm hmm. We've got better horse now than we've ever had. Yes. Our our genetics, the people in this industry, the that raise these coats, they got top mares. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, the breeders are so much – now, used to, they any mare, anything that was a mare, they got bred. Now they're yeah. picky. They, they're, they yeah. study the bloodlines. Uh, our horse is the most natural, gated horse yes. in the world. You're exactly right on that. You can you can go any direction you want to go, whether you go flat shod, padded. You just enhance his gait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, with a pad, with a little chain. I mean, they're just natural gated. You just ride them and – They'll come to it. Yeah. That horse there doing a, hitting a pretty good lick right there. He's doing pretty good. And the biggest thing, getting them out in the open at night, getting them broke and yeah. stuff like that, getting them used to everything, the cars coming by. Now this uh, I Am Jose coat out of a, I can't remember, Jerry, to tell you the truth. Is all I can tell you is to have a blue roll there. Yeah, I, was, uh, I can't remember the blood on it. This belongs to Carol Mister Line. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the coat that Ronald Morton led all, all summer, you know, over okay, there and showed yeah. his year. Uh -huh. This has turned out to make a really, really nice coat. Shaking his head, walking. I mean, you can you can see the potentials in this coat right yep, here. Yeah, a little time, you know, timed up. Little, yeah, little time, he'll he'll keep it progressing. Now, on these coats like this, do you have do you have an all time favorite horse that you ever that you started? All that I started, or that I fooled with? That you well, that you fooled with or started? Oh. Um, of course, my all-time favorite horse I ever fooled with has got to be Justified Honest. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, man, there's so many. I hate to, I, I, Oh, I understand. Oh. Uh, one of my favorite horses I ever started was All-American Cash. Okay. He was he was one of my favorite. He was so natural and so good. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, he was one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. And then, you know, which I didn't start him. Eric Yokely started him yeah. first, and we got him on his second foot. But uh, Jose's Revival was one of my favorites <laughs> I've ever had. Okay. We got him on that second foot and got him, and then he, Rocky McCoy bought him and carried him on from us, and Ronnie Lost and then bought him for yeah. me and carried him Rocky. But that was a fun, fun coat to with. He's one of my all-time favorites. Okay. Uh, Night King yeah. was one of my he, – it's a list, man. I oh, just yeah, go it's on a list. On. I, understand, I understand. You got you, you fool with so many of them, but I just know you, sometimes you just have that one that you always stick in your head that mm -hmm. you, you know. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's nothing like starting these coats and they, you know, when they going on, you know, especially when they, especially they win a World Grand Championship. Um, I mean, that just like that King thing horse that Bob Adcock yeah. showed. You know, I started him, and yeah. then when he went on and you know, end up selling him for some money and some shavings. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Zorro, Zorro Jr., uh -huh. you know, we started him. Uh, Kenny Compton then brought him down to us and uh, sold him to Dale Watts and, and got to watch that horse go through several different hands. Yeah. And it was always good, you know, two-year-old yeah. after uh -huh. world grand champion and, and all that. I, we, we was really proud of him. I tell you, them blue, you're getting to see more blue roans now. You ever seen Yeah, people them? liking that color. Yeah. 
This uh, colt is really green. He hadn't had near the ride in a lot of these. This I am Jose Colt out of out on parole mare. Uh huh. This colt's got a big time gate in him. All these colts right here are still pretty green. Oh yeah. At this stage. You know, at that stage, I want them to see a little green, a little, you yeah. know, and you, you have somewhere to grow. You know, I ain't never said I was the smartest man in the world, but to me, I always like to see something. You see something that's set at that age, he don't have nowhere to go, but you can you can see the promise in some yeah. of them. They're kind of moving like this coat right Plenty here. Plenty of room for progress. Yeah, that's right. That coach got a big gate in it. Yeah. I tell you, I am is getting some real good coats out there. I love them. I mean, they they get some real good ones out there. I am's honors, you know, man. It's, you know, all these studs are pretty yeah. reproducing mm -hmm. good. But do you know why these studs are reproducing good? Tell me. They bred to good mares. That's right. And they're all good to sell. Sell. Mm -hmm. but oh, you got to have a good mama. You got, got to, to have it. That mama is seventy-five percent. You are exactly right. You are exactly right. And you know, and, and it's just like in, in anything else, it's uh, uh, the blood in them, you know, yeah. this, this, this tideless, these tideless mares, they seem to match good with anything. The old hard cash mares match good to yeah. silver dollars, you know, but you, you know, you find certain crosses that work good, a little better than others, you know, with some. And, yeah. I mean, you take like that old Mary Epics, mama, and do yeah. all them good coats. Yes, sir. You know. Now, this is a coat I'm really, really proud of right here. He's by Omaha. Uh, I can't think what she's by, but you remember the mayor Brent Grider had, uh, Plum Pretty. Yeah, uh-huh. A world champion mayor. He's yeah. out of her. Now, this coat right here is some kind of good. Boy, that's know. something sweet right there behind now. Justin Harney bought him here about a month ago. And... Uh, we're really proud of this of this dude right here. I won't, I can't wait to see a lot of them Omaha hauls. I believe that horse there is going to be a pretty good we've breeding got, horse. We've gotten four of them. I got a filly that we really like. We got another coat that uh, is pretty nice. But we just sold a Omaha to B.J. Richards and Chris Allen's over there at their farm, yeah. their place, for really, really good money for a flat shot. He was on his first little foot. Yeah. And they seen him on that and bought him and now. Uh, that coat's going to be really special as a flat shot. Flat shot, yeah. So, you know, you got, and that's the thing about these coats, a lot of them go either, you know. And I'm going to tell you, nowadays, that flat shot, they pay just as much and do just as much well with them flat shots well, than they do with these well, panels. Jerry, this, this winter, I've sold six or seven flat shots that's been in good money. I ain't going to say how much money, but they've yeah. been over 10000 yeah, It's been that's real what I'm good saying. money. But, you know, these on these flat shots, Used to be anything that didn't make. Oh, we'll, throw a, that's right. we'll make a flat that's shot. Horse. That's right. Nowadays, that don't work. They don't work. Uh -uh. The flat shot folks want the same coat we want. That's you exactly right. They want the talent, the look. Mm -hmm. They want the same horse. And, and let me tell you, them things is worth a lot, a of, lot money, of money. A lot of money. Exactly, you exactly right. I tell people now, you know, they'll tell you, I say, hey, this coat might be better on a flat shot. And they were like, oh, I say, I'm going to tell you, you better look at it. You better do your research on them flat shot horses. Now, you know, you take these flat shot folks, you got you got some horse trainers in this flat oh, shot. Oh, yeah, you got some now. real horse trainers. You know, you got Hannah Pulvers, mm -hmm. Joe Lester and crew, yeah. uh, Crystal Deputy. Yeah. Jessica got, and David over they, at Mast. Yeah. Lori. Lori, too. Yeah. I mean, these folks are horsemen. Uh, they're horsemen. They're, they're not just people go ride to a flat. Oh, we're just going to go. These are going to train they, horse. They, they train horse. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Cold weather affects all animals differently. Animals can handle cold weather and they can handle wet conditions, but when you put both of these together, it can be extremely dangerous. Horses can naturally withstand 0 degrees Fahrenheit. With shelter, they can survive below negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All horses have what is called a lower critical temperature. This can vary depending on where the horse lives. If it gets below the horse's lower critical temperature, they will need to consume more hay to produce more body heat. 
With the colder weather, the accumulation of dried material without adequate water can result in impaction colic. Eating snow or licking ice can help, but it's not a sufficient water source. Most horses prefer water between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to where the 5 to 9 more than makes up for the 9 to 5. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Thank you for joining us back with this section of What a Horse. Like I said, I have my main man here, Lane Leverett here, Mr. Cole. Coon dog extraordinary right here. When you going hunt with me? <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. I like Come to go coon. I'm gonna have to do a little. I'll show you what a real dog is. Well, you you hunt them walking you, you dogs. You know, like blue, blue, you know, like blue, blue dogs. Thing. You, you know what they say about a man with a blue dog, don't you? What? Said he is just before quitting hunting. You know what they say about a man with a black dog? What? He has quit hunting. He has quit hunting. <laughs> but I just say, you know, the walking dogs are big size beagles, you know. That's yeah. the only thing about that. Hosting. <laughs> but yeah, but I think we're gonna do a little. Horse of the Year awards here. We got some of them that's, you know, they had a lot of good horses. Um, Bill Callaway on this spotlight on Jose 4G. I'm going to tell you, that's, that was a nice horse Ooh, right there. Oh, man, what are you talking about? Good coat. Yeah. Good, good coat right here. I coat there have done a lot of winning. Bob Adcock is, you know, he's another guy that owns these coats. And, yeah, that does real good in this business. And Bob Adcox, not only that, he's another man that's really year after year has been a big time supporter of this industry. Yes, he's a, he's fed a lot of us buying and selling, trading these horses over the years, you know. And of course, Callaway's Mr. Bill Lane. Yeah, John Allen. They do, they do they, a real good they, job. They do a good job, and you know, Dad, they was they was taught by yeah, a good man. Yeah, by a good man. You exactly right. Uh, oh wow, with no slouch with him yeah. himself, mm -hmm. man. He won a lot. You couldn't hardly beat him back in the day. Yeah. He done a real good job. This horse right here, King, the King Pin. I believe he was started by co host of ours right here. When he started no, no, by King Thing. King Thing. Yeah, but not this okay, one right here. Right, King Pin, that's, that's a nice horse right yes, there. Yes, sir. That's nice horse. Good horse. Reserve 15 to another horse of the year. We was talking about it last week, old Bob. Now he don't, ask, he ain't shy about asking one to come up. He ride one. <laughs> he there. ride one. Now every time you see him, he got a big smile on his face, and he loved these horses. Yes, sir. I mean, he. I, I love for Mr. Bob to come around. He's a, he's good to be around. Good man. Is born a maverick. That's another real good horse. Good horse right here. This horse right here, we've had to eat a little crow on before, back when he was young. He's turned into a real horse. Yeah, that horse is nice. That's a nice horse. You know what? I'm going to just tell you. Sometimes, you know, everybody can't get along with every horse. And right. So and, and it ain't mean no one trainer better than another trainer. It's just some you horse know, that you get along with. We was talking about develop. This coat was really nice as a two-year-old. Yeah. And the three of them, when he turned four, this son of us come too. Yeah. What about my man Jack right here? Oh, yeah, now. Horse riding little rascal. He right? is, but I'm now gonna, I'm gonna say this now. His dad is, you know, his daddy sometimes think he's the, the he's the best of the best. Yeah. Oh, Jack, whoop him now. Jack's <laughs> better rider than Justin is. But like I always say, his pedigree. You talking about pedigree? His pedigree is yes, on top and bottom. Well, you know, his granddaddy was a horseman. His granddaddy, <laughs> his granddaddy was a horse trainer. That's what I'm saying. John Hunt uh, John was, was, was a good one. And and I I give Justin slack, but I'm gonna tell you, Justin owned the train. Yeah, good. Justin's pretty good with him, man. And, and then on the bottom side, his mama. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. His mama and his granddaddy on the bottom side. You yeah. know, 
Yep, Mr. Jimmy. Yeah. So, I mean, his pedigree is pretty good. It's, it's kind of in him. He ain't yeah. got no choice. <laughs> he ain't got no choice. You are exactly right. I tell you, that was an exciting night right there when he showed. That boy put on a show. He man. did. He, he really did. On Can you ball. imagine him in another three years? I know. He'll be training them at home himself. Yeah. He loves it. You know, me and Justin's pretty good friends, and he yeah. tell, he's told me, Jack comes home from school every day, they go to the barn, and Jack rides. Ride them horse, yeah. You know, that's a big thing. This horse is a nice horse, that dark rain horse. Yes. I have done. That's one we're proud of right there. Yeah. We used to call it Muddy Water. Muddy Water. <laughs> Let me tell you, right there is a girl Oh, that is her and her mother have been big, big supporters in this entry for a long time. Yeah. Molly Walters uh -huh. and Taylor right there, good of people as you'll find. Oh, we're very blessed to have them in our industry. That horse, that is a good horse. Every time you see him, I like one to shake his head back up there to you in that brow yes. right there. And he can get somewhere doing yeah. it. Yeah, mm mm-hmm. I, he's a nice horse. I some old people that love, that love this horse business. Every time you see them, they really they, right there. They got them, and they'll buy the best of the best. Yes. And that girl right there is a horse rider now. Yeah. She can ride more. I believe she's got the best hands any amateur you'll okay. see. Okay. I like when it's shaped like that. Yes. I like when it gets somewhere yeah. when you mm -hmm. cluck to him. When you cluck to him, you're exactly right. Edgar and him's done a real job with yeah. this horse over the years. You know, I always say, you know, them trainers, you know, when you train a horse at home, they're getting ready to set for that person show at that horse show. You got to be, you're doing pretty good then. Yeah. You got to make sure that horse doing his job. Now, this horse is a coat. Man, this is one of Eli's all-time favorite right here. He loved riding that uh -huh. dude. I got videos of him when he was a coat man, you doing some scary stuff. Eli does real good on them horses. He now. does. He does, does a good job. job. You taught him well. And watching you and stuff. Yeah, he's he's better than I was. He's he come up learning, but Well that's what you want him to do. Yeah, that's right. You you want you want him to do that. This I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna want wanna be one of them mares that gonna go down in history For right here. For a long time. For a long time, yeah. She's gonna go down that class with Sarah, Sarah, yeah. Ron the Boo, and yeah. she's that kind. Mm -hmm. And of course, Taylor right there, as we just said, yeah. she don't hurt her none either. That's right. American, park that ground behind, yeah. that's what you like. Man, showing us good right there, ain't she? She, she loves her job. Taylor, if you watch this, we like seeing you wear them blue ribbons. That's right. Here's Mama showing her right yeah. here. Miss Molly, good lady right there. That mare win a lot of world yes, championships she will. before her time's done. You are exactly right on that. What about Mr. Paul Simmons right here? That's a nice horse right there. That's nice. the one. That you say when you start one, I started him. Right That's there. right. And I mean, that horse there is nice horse. Paul done a real good job with that horse. That horse went through several hands and has been good for everybody that's had Everybody who had that horse and started that horse and made him better and better as the person yeah. that had him. That's a, that's a fine fella right there. He's yeah. my neighbor up the road there now. He stops by when he's in town. He's a good guy to be around. Like you say, that you know, I was the kindergarten starter. Tyler Balkum was the junior high, junior high. and Ryan Blackburn was the senior. senior and then went to college. Yeah, went to college, college, college at Thornridge. Yeah, that's right. We got to count Thornridge yep. now. But now it's that's a nice horse. Paul's a good guy. Yes, sir. He won't get to show in that division. No, he, he's through with he's that no division. no longer a novice. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Paul, neither one of you. <laughs> I've seen him show him 
back in the summer with his horse trainer there showed him it. Which one he showed him? Oh um, man, he's showing up. Oh, oh yeah. Over at the cow sign. Yeah. He's a good one. This man here is a real nice man, that Harley Quinn. Now every time you look at it, she's doing the same, she's doing the same lick. Yeah. You know. Yep. Good man right there. Good behind. Ryan Blackman's done a great job with her. Yeah. You know, Scotty Brooks, she's another one. Two, yeah. three hands. Every time you see it, she's doing that same lick. Yep. She don't make a bobble. No. Nah. Now this is another, this Twisted with Honors horse have done a lot of winning. Yeah, it's a good horse right yeah. here. This uh, Miss Armstrong, she's a, She's been a big player in this industry now for several years. Yes. She's bought a lot of great horses, and they just, of course, she's got them with one of the Tyler Balkum, oh, yeah. young, young guy. What is Tyler now, 26? Yeah, about 27, something like that, yeah. Uh, he's become one of the, one of, his daddy was a, it's a pedigree. We're pedigree, that's right. His granddaddy mm -hmm. on his daddy's side. side. His daddy, yeah. his mama, his granddaddy, granddaddy on his mama's mama side. side. That's right. Uh, you know, so he's come from a line of, he's learned from some good, some of the best. You're exactly right. Probably one of the best to yeah. ever do it is uh, his daddy right there, and, and his mama's not bad. Man, really. That's right. But now Tyler's become one of the best uh, horse trainers in this industry. He's hard to handle. Yeah. That horse, that's smoking now. I'm going to tell you, that's a, that's a good. That's a great man. Right they, they bought the living legend right there, yeah. showing her right showing here. Showing her right there, that's right. And well deserved of that honor, too, that man is. And Tyler took it to North Carolina and won with her. But now, that's, I'm going to tell you, that's, that's a nice man. That's going to be another mare that's going to be in that yes. great. Yes, she's a great man. Yeah. You know, Lane, I'm going to tell you, lately here, they've been having a pretty good bunch of good mares that showed oh, up man. here. Oh, there's some great mares yeah. showing. Now this horse right here, he would be in that top show pleasure class for a long time. Yep. I think he'll win this class for a long he, time. He'd be hard to beat. He'd be hard to beat in that class. That's a good horse. He likes what he does too. You can see ears always up, everything forward, happy looking. They put him in that division right there, and I'm gonna tell you that's. A, you know, you look at these horses right here, and you 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 look at them and. What do they have in common? You watch these. We're going to see a couple more coming up right here. They're trainers. We just talking about Tyler yeah. Ball. Uh -huh. You never see Tyler get a horse from anybody else. That when you see him, you don't say he's improved him. He's That's right. Him. Mm -hmm. You never, you, you never see Tyler improves them horses. Yeah. That says a lot about him and uh, his program. program. You That's know, right. Especially at his age. Yeah. Uh, he's developed a lot, a lot of good horses right here. But that horse, that's a good position for that horse right there. And that, to me, I call that a show pledge horse. That's so good. I mean, he's he's he, easy to ride. He's he's he a show pledge. Any yeah. division. He that's right. right there. I mean, he got walking a mile behind. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, right here's a mare that's been great for many years. Yes. Boy, Tyler's done good with this mare over the years. Yes. That boy right there's a showman, too. You he put is. him in that ring on the good, you can't hardly beat You can't hardly beat him. And I'm going to tell you, his sister's pretty good with the horse, too. Oh, now. His sister is real what good. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, Kayla's, Kayla can show one, too. And, oh, yeah. You know, and she's a little prettier than Tyler. Yeah. Look at all. <laughs> you know, they got a good one two punch good, with yeah, him. Yeah, right that's there. right. They've got a heck of a program with him right there. You know, and they're family oriented. Yeah, that's right. Stay right up in there. They got mama guiding them. Yep. And uh, they do a good, good job. Now this one right here is uptight Jose. Now you, this man here, is 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 wonderful for the horse business. Yes, now. sir. He's been a pillar of this industry for a long time. Yes. Him and his wife Robin. 
I, I can't even never remember them not being in the horse That's business right. riding the best ones. I mean, they are some good people right there now. And they've got two good horse trainers there with Tim and Knox. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their program works. It all works hand in hand. You know, these horses are just like anything else. You got to find the right fit for your owner. You are exactly right. Right fit with your trainer. Hey, that's Knox. a good horse right here. This yeah. Kevin, the horse. Now, I tell you, he. Brother Knox doing it right yes. there, man. I'd love to see him step up this year in that age stage. Stay right? class. I'm going to tell you that state class be a pretty big it's class. Fixed, it's it'll fixing be, to get real. It'll be a good class there. You got a lot of good horses that's going to be in there. Yep. And you got one that might try to make but, a repeat but That's again. what I'm saying. So, I mean, you got a lot of good ones in there. But I like to see a class like that. Yes. I'd rather see a class where a ring full of good ones than one good one and the rest of them is okay. Yep. So you can be kind of pick and choose which one you think. You, one minute you might like this, and you look over here and see this other one coming better. Man, or whatever. I'm telling you, there's some in classes you, you judge. Sometimes you've got two that's neck and neck. And you say, well, I just hope they separate Seems themselves right. here in a minute. <laughs> there was a horse that get, didn't get start showing to his three-year-old mm -hmm. horse, I believe. Yeah, I think they showed him a couple times when two, he was two, yeah. but he really come on his three-year-old. Three yeah. I'm so glad for Bruce and Robin. Yes. I mean, yeah, they're, they're well deserved. Yeah, they are. Great people. Yep. You know, we're sitting here watching these horses, Jerry. It's a, it amazes me how blessed we are to do what we do. Oh yeah, you are right. This well, one, horse right here is a good horse. Yeah. Melanie's. And Let's talk about a little man, Eli, right Oh, here. yeah. He's a pistol now. He is. He's a character. And a horse jockey, too. He'll ride one. But now, that's, that's a good a, kid. That's again, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> he's yeah. a shaving man of a Chevy Mill. He's a character himself. Yep. Yeah. You know, this uh, this boy's family, you're talking about the support base. Yes, he's got yeah, it. They, yeah. His mom and daddy, yeah. granddad and grandma, mom, I mean, yeah. they, they strive for that boy to do a lot of good, and he does, too. Yeah. You know, he steps up to the plate. And he likes it. He loves it. And I think he's got a big hero that he likes an awful lot, too, him and John yeah, Allen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's his hero. That's his hero. And a good one to have. It's You know, that's another good little thing. Get a bunch of them little bitty kids like that together at a table and just let them talk to them. You know, yeah. like they say the kids say the darnest things and get them all together and let them talk and interview them. And well, let them half see. of them would clam up wouldn't yeah, say that. that. <laughs> <clears throat> but now it's he won that that show right there. I think three years in a row yeah. he retired that trophy there. Well, right here's a horse that's been good for a while. Yes. Be good for a long time, too. Oh, Carol, now, she's a, a real nice lady. I've been knowing her all, all my life. My dad used to train horses for her dad back in the early 70s yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but now, Dale and them does a real good you, job. You're right. Again, what well, you say, pedigree. Yeah, Dale, that's right. Josh, uh, Jonathan. Uh, you know, this, this industry is heading down everywhere you look, generation to generation. I was talking a couple of days ago about this horse right here and Dale and them. This is the only time they get to show when they come up here. They don't have no more mm -hmm. shows down that way that they show at, so I don't, they have to haul so far to come up here and show. Yeah. And then they coach basketball. And they, they'll watch. He's one. They, I ain't never watched him play. They say he's one of the best basketball yeah. coaches alive. They get up around early in the morning, around about 4 o'clock and ride to, I think, about 10, and they leave and go to, and go to school. Come and do back the coach, and finish yeah, up. And go and finish up. Mm-hmm. They are. Uh, the good folks right they there. They are. Now. They are that now. But you know, we keep talking about pedigrees on these horses and people. Our horse trainers over the years are just like our horses. Yeah. They've evolved. That's right. We've learned different methods, how to slow down and train and yeah. work horses. And our horse, our product is so much better than mm -hmm. it's ever been.
could you imagine Billy Gray being able to ride a, the, the horse that we have today? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Here's Mr. Jimbo, Cousin Bob. Now, that was a good horse right there now, I tell you. I heard, I know that they didn't sold him now, I think um, Shane Porterfield. I think that's right. It's at Charlie's oh, and now. Charlie, he's yeah, he's at Charlie's now. But now, Hayden done a real good job he with did. his horse. Hayden done a real job Yeah. With right there's a young boy. Pedigree again. Yeah, that's Tyler right. Tyler and Hayden, them mm -hmm. two boys do real good. Their that's daddy, right. they better horse trainers than their daddy was. Yeah. Their daddy's a good blacksmith, <laughs> blacksmith but yeah. he was a be he's better blacksmith than horse trainer. These yeah. boys have really done good. They have. They doing what, a real Tanner good job. won his first two world championships this year. Yeah. And uh, that boy's, that's a good fella right there. He is. Getting, mar hard, getting married this week. Yeah, hard working fella. He works hard now. Yeah, Tanner works. His daddy, his daddy in law pushes him. Yeah. That's and, a, they're a good team. And his mother in law will be back there cheering, be, be screaming at him. I yeah, promise you. You can hear her. <laughs> you can Wherever hear you at, you know she's right. <laughs> Little Jimmy right here, Mr. Dan Waddell. He's really done good for himself since he's moved back up here. He have. He has. He's, he's a good string of horses. Dan's a good guy, too. I tell you what you're going to do. He's about like Jimmy. He's going to have a horse in every state class it is now. He's going to have one in every class he can put a hand. Ain't nobody loves it no more than, That's, than he does to show exactly a horse. Right. Dan's done a real job with that horse right Yeah, done a real good job with that horse. One of them with that horse. He works hard at it. Oh, Dan, he's, he's, he's really come a long way, come up and got a good string of horses. Yeah. Well, I tell you, that was some pretty good videos we watched here. Sure was. It was a good show today. You know, I'm telling you, I learned a lot sitting here talking to you, Lane. You come around, you learn a lot that, more. That, I will. I'm gonna have to come and do. I'm gonna have to come and do that. I'm gonna have to come do that. Jerry, I, I thank y'all for having me. I enjoy doing this. I appreciate you being here, man. I tell you, it's a very educational thing. You know, you can teach a lot of people about how to start these coats and stuff like that. And like I say. Any of y'all got some coats that need to get started or whatever, this is the man you need to call. And yeah, we appreciate it. We we do the best we can. We, You know, we'll have some events coming up this summer. We try to do something during the trainer show and the fun show and celebration. Try to yeah. have a cookout and feed everybody and, and let them watch horses. We enjoy doing it. Or, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to do my coat preview this week, this year, because of the way the banquets and stuff yeah. found took my, took my weekend. But... You know, there's plenty of others to go oh, to. Oh, yeah. You are exactly right. But I'm glad to have you here, and I appreciate you coming yes, and visiting with me. Thank and, you. And make me feel comfortable, buddy. All right. But thank you for everything, and thank you all for listening to this water horse. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.